Hello, my lovely Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome to your love scope for February 2020, Leo. Thank you for all the Leo subscriptions, likes, shares, and comments. If these messages resonate, Leo, please let me know down in the comments. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook for the new people coming to my channel. Um, this is a new setup for me, Leo, so let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this reading. This is the first time that I am trying this out, so let me know. Um, what else did I want to tell you guys? Yeah, we have a full moon in your sign coming up uh, towards the end of this week. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that, honestly. It's really going to help, um push us forward and help us really gain that momentum that a lot of us fire signs are craving at this point. And I'm an Aries for the ones who don't know me. So there's not a lot of planets and fire signs right now. So Leo, take advantage of this full moon. Really follow your heart's desires. This is what Leo represents. It represents the heart, represents what is, you know, fun and lighthearted and just, you know, you're the sun in the tarot. Your ruling planet is the sun. So follow the light. Follow the sun, Leo. So here we go, Leo. We're going to use the Lenormand Under the Roses deck to look at the theme. So the central theme of your reading today. So we're going to look at the energies of you and the person that you're dealing with. So please take the messages as they resonate with your situation. So the central theme of your reading here. Ooh, okay. So Leo, we are at a crossroads in the month of February for you. So what is this telling me that this connection that you have with this person? <sighs> for some of you, I feel like this is a choice. And look, we got 22, the divine, you know, counterparts. But for a lot of you, it's the choice. Which direction should I move towards? You know, we have a lot of Paths. A lot of timelines are opening up for you. Um, which path is the one that is the most aligned with your inner truth, with what you desire, with what you want deep down? Really follow your heart, Leo. This is what you're all about. So yes, you're at a crossroads. There, or for some of you, you have options. You have a choice. Okay. So let's take a look at um, what both of you have to say about this connection. So again, if you resonate with the right, then stick to the right. If you resonate with the left, stick to the left. But it's going to be different for everybody. So let's start with this side. I'm, I'm thinking that you're seeing this on your left side. I'm not sure if it's in reverse. Anyway, you, re you take what resonates. What does this person have to say on the left here? Well, my left, right? Would you reject me? Okay. So there's this sense of rejection, this fear of rejection, this fear of abandonment that this person is obviously carrying with them. Ouch, that hurts. I just felt it in my shoulders. Um, would you reject me? Okay. So this is what they're dealing with. Again, maybe this can be you. Maybe you feel like, you know, if you were to go down one of these paths, Leo, you are afraid that at the end of this path, this person would reject you, abandon you, let you go. There's some sort of loss here that this person has is fearing, but also it's coming from a past, from a past relationship and probably even a past life. If we're fearing rejection and abandonment it's because somewhere in our past lifetimes, uh, we are, you know, we're recreating that pattern in this lifetime. So what other messages want to come out for the other person? Oh my God, you inspire me. Okay. So one person is feeling completely inspired and uplifted by this connection. And then the other person on the other side here is fearing this other person's rejection. Hmm. Let's take a look and see why would this person feel like that? What, are, what shadow sides are we dealing with? What's hidden? 
What are they hiding here? Mm, irresponsible. So, why are they feeling like they would feel rejected? Okay, so for some of you, I feel like um, in their past, they've, they've taken leaps of faith, okay, that has led them to um, results that were not so positive, okay? So basically, they were irresponsible in the past, and they feel like by jumping in quickly, um, they fear that it will it will not, you know, it won't last, okay? That it's going to come to an end. So there's some type of guilt, shame from the past that I'm feeling with this person. And this is why they're feeling a kind of scared to move forward because they've done it before in some type of way, okay? So they don't want to make any you know, bad moves, as we might say, you know, that's a bad move. But in reality, failure is what leads us to success. Failure, it's by taking a look at all those wrong moves and all those wrong steps to see what it is that leads us to the perfect road, okay, to the perfect path. So let's take a look and see why does this person feel inspired? What's going on? An inspir inspiration. Okay, this person feels inspired in a sense. Or this can be you, Leo, that feels inspired because you're feeling some type of doubt. Okay, so in the past, there has been some doubt. And I feel like this person is looking for a connection that inspires them. Okay, because... There's been so much doubt and fear in their past or in in your past, in whatever you, you went through basically here. Things are uncertain. There's some type of uncertainty. You inspire me is, is saying this person or you is feeling like you or this person can overcome the doubt. Yes, that's what it is. You allow them to overcome, overcome this doubt. This is why you're inspirational to them. Or they are inspirational to you. Because you overcome the doubt within them or within you. So, let's take a look at what's going on here. On this side, with this person who has this fear of rejection. Based on past irresponsible foolish ways okay I feel like something got triggered in the winter time here okay so winter winter season something might have triggered something in the winter okay that's a timing card now this timing card speaks of heading in a new direction should this person take a leap of faith with you or vice versa you are afraid of being rejected so there's this sense of should i go on my own path should i go go my own way here or stick with it because there is a choice there's a crossroads from the very beginning right we see that we don't know if this is the right path for us there's an uncertainty starting from our theme here Okay, so like I said, someone here was dealing with some sort of heartbreak, disappointment, separation that led them maybe to this new path, this new direction. And they don't want to feel loss again. This is what I'm getting. They don't want to feel like there's loss. But there is some type of ascending. What does this mean? We're ascending. We're, un we're gaining some type of awareness, self-awareness about what it is we need in order to feel good and in order to feel right. I feel like something has to feel right for you or for them. Take it as it resonates. If you resonate with, the, with this side, then this is your story. 
Let's go with the next person here. The next person on this side. So if you resonate with this. So someone here is feels very inspired just because either you help them overcome the doubt, the fears within themselves, or they help you overcome doubt and fears within yourself, you know. So, okay. We have the observer. Somebody is watching somebody here. So observer is telling me you're doing a lot of research. Someone's doing a lot of research. The person that feels inspired by you, Leo, is watching you. Okay. Is inspired by what you're doing. Okay. And, and it's helping them understand, you know, what type of person you are. And it helps them understand that you're not someone who is going to sit in doubt. What else can we get for Leo? Ooh, destruction. So I feel like this person's hmm, dealing with a lot of destructive, either things are just falling apart. It feels like something is falling apart in their life. It, this can be externally or internally within themselves. Something is something is falling apart. They don't feel like themselves anymore. But you inspire them to remove the doubt and the fears that come with this falling down, this falling apart, this destruction. Numbing. Okay. The person here who's inspired by you, Leo, or vice versa, this is someone that does not know how to embrace their feelings, that doesn't know how to be in touch with their emotions, that numbs them, that suppresses them, which is completely unhealthy, okay? So maybe you help them with this. You help them with getting in touch with their feelings and emotions, Let's get one more for my beautiful Leo's on Awaken. Yeah, you see, we're dealing with someone here who has more understanding, whereas this person is completely shut down, unawakened, not aware of what their emotions are telling them because they're shutting themselves down to what their feelings are, okay? So there's some type of... Someone's closing themselves because they don't want to feel the fallout, the pain or whatever they're going through here. But some somewhere along the lines, you're an inspiration to them. Okay, there's some type of inspiration. You're helping them go through this. It feels very karmic, Leo, to be honest with you. This, this does not feel like a vibrational match. Just because there's one that's dealing with this fear of rejection... And another one is feeling completely enamored, okay? So it's not it's not even. It's not a vibrational match based on what I see and feel. So let's see what the tarot has to say here. Okay, so I'm going to separate this in two. So on this side, we're going to start here to see what is the most likely outcome with this person what action steps will they be taking in the month of february yeah so there is karma like i was saying there is some karmic um energies with this person where they have to make a decision so karma is dealing with things that are resurrecting from the past issues that have been buried are now coming and rising up to the surface so no matter how hard we try to bury our emotions our secrets our, our you know our personal information, our truth always comes out here with the karma card. So someone here will be making a decision. Yes, about what? So you might be dealing with a Scorpio. Death is Scorpio. Scorpio energy. Now we're dealing with 10, 10. X, X, this is 10. Something around this lunar... This is an eclipse, though. Something happened in the last eclipse. Now, there were a few eclipses in the month of, in the last few months. So do check out my videos. There was a, a lunar and a solar eclipse. One was a full moon, one was a new moon. So you might want to go back and see 
you know, the energies uh, that were pulled out from that reading, from that video. Now you're dealing with a Scorpio here, the death card. The death card is also about, again, putting something to rest. But something here, by making a decision, here we put something to rest. There's an ending here for some. All right, so again, we're dealing with heartbreak. Three of swords, disappointment, heartbreak, sadness, grief. For some of you, there might be a third party involved in this scenario but someone obviously feels really rejected there's some type of loss here that comes with this ending or with the scorpio yeah something within this union here causes some heartbreak so the four of wands is a union is a commitment that comes to an end here i feel like or something about this commitment this partnership has ended. An aspect to it has ended. Ooh. Yeah, it feels like the burdens need to be dropped. There's a lot of pressure on this person's shoulders. They want to drop the burden. It's all too heavy. Okay, so this partnership, this connection, maybe you have a home with this person because the Four of Wands, the speak of home. So obviously, like I said from the beginning, we have a decision, eh? we have a choice to make. We have different paths to choose from. And it feels like it's weighing heavy on this person on this side, okay? There's a lot of pressure. And there's a lot of pressure for this King of Pentacles here who's really focused on their career and on making money. Finances can be also very um, stressful for this person, male or female. All right, let's get some more cards here. But now we're going to get some more clarification for what is most likely to happen on this end. So for this person right here. So we have chariot the chariot speaks of cancer maybe there's a cancer here in your life that causes you or this other person to feel very trapped very limited in their mind here it's very a lot of anxiety ridden here now maybe this also can be someone here is really in their head about moving forward and moving away from this connection there's this sense of I'm worried, like I just can't, I can't get over it. I'm worried I can't get over it. It just, it, it's, it's just way too fast. It ended too fast. I'm worried about making, or about making this decision. I'm worried about making a decision here. Why? Because we have the lovers. The lover speaks of making a decision in relationships. And we are speaking about love, love, love scope here. Yeah, you see, sadness, grief, five of cups. This person is completely drained. The mermaid is drained. She has her hands on her head. Feels like she has a headache as well. Maybe you've been having a lot of headaches, migraines because of this. There's some type of situation between these two people. That has caused you or this person to feel really, really sad. This is, you know, really focusing on the negative. These are all minor arcana cards. So what does this mean? That they're just day-to-day -day energies that can be fixed, that can be resolved. But something here, moving forward here, is very prominent something here really makes this person feel like they're at, they're losing control there's some type of loss of control here with the chariot again you see wanted to come out leo gemini the lovers maybe you're dealing with the gemini maybe you're the cross watcher but again it's about this connection between two people and making this decision is causing a lot of anxiety Someone here is feeling like they lost control. 
someone here has to make a decision on whether or not they want to stay in this relationship or be single and independent nine of pentacles is being self-sufficient and independent without depending and relying on another person so there's a decision to be made for sure all right leo we're going to give you an advice card on how to deal with this energy in the month of february with this love scope reading what is the advice, please? Spiritual advice on how to deal with this decision. Choice. Choice has to be made. What should Leo do? How should Leo go about this situation? Okay, so a lot of you here from the very beginning, it's like this sense of will you reject me? Should I should I take this chance to move forward and get over the separation, get over the heartbreak and walk into this new direction? Some of you might be staying, you know, again there's this stagnant energy where we're numbing, we are unawakened to the truth of the situation. Now, a lot of you here are taking, are not taking a chance on what is for your highest good, okay? So take a chance on love says, when we start to love, our lives are changed forever. I feel like a lot of you are trying to move in a new direction or in a different direction when it comes to this partnership. And obviously there's some disappointment here and there, I feel like someone here is struggling to see whether or not they should be or stay with the person. I mean, taking a chance here. It's all part of the journey. That's what I just heard. It's all part of your journey. You took a chance on it and it, it helped you evolve. That's what I'm getting out of this. Yeah, have faith, trust in the universe, trust in the process that whatever, you know, you decide will take you into a different path. So if it's not with this person or that person, then have faith that there's something else on the horizon here. So it says, trust your faith in this situation. Faith is what's going to get you to a better path. This is what I'm feeling here. I'm going to grab one of these lovers oracle. I feel like you need it, Leo. Yeah, you see? Look what it's saying. It's about a decision. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. And this is what I've been saying from the very beginning, Leo. Do what feels right, what really brings you joy and happiness. Because this is what you are all about. So Leo, I'm hoping these messages were helpful and insightful. And if you want a personal reading, please do reach out through my website. And um, yeah, let me know down in the comments. Like this video. Let me know if you enjoyed this new setup. And I'll see if I will continue this theme for the month, for the next month, basically, for every month um, moving ahead. And yeah, thank you so much. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.